Hey folks, now you see the title of this. Now I will preface this much and I think I've done it before. So the crypto gang don't try attempt, attempt to gang up on me. I'm not a crypto person. I'm not against crypto. I don't know enough about crypto to be pro or con of crypto. I easily and openly admit that, but I know it's a thing. I know enough to know that I don't know enough. And I know enough to know that I don't know enough to get engaged in such. So I know enough. I'm smart enough to know when to sit my behind still because it's a game over my head. I know that much. So with that being said, I'm just going to go ahead and we're going to do this story here. This is from business today. Um, Cause some current countries around the world aren't very welcoming, if you will, to the uh, process I know some people, this one going to say, well, it's because they want to do this. Or this one says this because they want to do that. And this group here says, well, da, da, da. I mean, everyone's going to have their own vantage point. The people that stand to lose, you can't expect the people that stand to lose or to get caught in the crossfire to have the same point of vantage that the person would, that would benefit from it. Now I do know that, I mean, on my end, it's screwed with electronics and computer parts and whatnot, which is, I mean, it's small fish to some, it's small fish to me. But if I was, if I depended on the computer and technology business to eat, that fish would grow exponentially in, you know, uh, in, in my world here. But anyway, I'm going to read this and we'll just go through it. And you know, me take from it, what you, you know, what you will it is I'm quite sure it's going to mean different things to different people. Okay. Now, uh, you see what it says, cryptocurrency bill, these are countries where cryptocurrency is restricted or illegal. Okay. Now let's go ahead and go through. And I guess somebody made the moniker cause I know it's not technically, it's not a coin. I, I know that much, but, um, and I know there's a lot of tubers here that I know about that. Um, you know, that's pretty, you know, they're, they're in, they're into the crypto thing. And like I say, I'm not, I'm, I would dare try to step on those people or, or their thought process of, you know, how to deal with this. That's not what I do, but anyway, let's go business today. Desk cryptocurrency regulation has been controversial since its beginning in 2009. The legal status of cryptocurrencies vary substantially from country to country. India has proposed a bill on cryptocurrency in the coming upcoming winter session of parliament prohibiting private cryptocurrencies within certain exceptions. The outright prohibition of cryptocurrencies mainly happening during 2017 to 2018 coinciding with Bitcoin's bull run. I know what bull run. I understand the bull versus bear. I know. Some countries have placed limitations on how Bitcoin can be used with banks banning their customers from making cryptocurrency transactions or heavy penalties for anyone making crypto transactions. Here's a look at the countries where cryptocurrencies are restricted or illegal. Now, what is what these countries are will quote unquote do to you or subject you to? I mean, people can put anything in writing, but we all know we've seen things in writing. And when it comes to being in real life, 
it turns out to be something totally different. You know, if you know what I mean. Okay. First on the list here, China, China was at one point home of the world's largest number of Bitcoin miners. I think it's still pretty close, but I can't prove it. I know Spain is big too. I done a story on Spain when they, uh, busted a, uh, crypto, uh, rig in a warehouse. Uh, they thought it was a, uh, they were growing left-handed cigarettes due to the uh, amount of heat that the place was putting off and the amount of electricity that it was drawing. But turned out it was a, it was crypto rigs in there. It was a uh, ASIC rigs in there. But anyway, uh, the Chinese government claimed that the ban on cryptocurrency was to reduce energy prices and greenhouse fuel emissions <laughs> associated with crypto transactions. Chinese officials have repeatedly issued warnings to its people to stay clear of the digital asset market and have clamped down on mining in the country and currency exchanges in China and overseas. Bangladesh. Uh, the Central Bank of Bangladesh does not allow crypto training, trading, and as it goes against the country's financial regulations, Money Laundering Prevention Act of trading in foreign currencies, which are too decentralized. If found trading in cryptocurrencies, crypto traders can face years of imprisonment in the nation. Okay, I don't like the sound of that. Um, Russia. Duh. Does Vidanya. Market sites for Bitcoins and other cryptocurrencies are blocked in Russia. However, it is expected that Russia might consider training, trading in cryptocurrencies in the coming future. I don't know about that, but I'm just reading the story. Egypt. Under the Islamic legislator, cryptocurrency transactions are prohibited in Egypt. The Egyptian Islamic advisory, Dar al Ifta, believes that cryptocurrencies might be harmful to the country's national security and economic health. Quite sure it's got more to go to these stories, but I'm just giving you what I got, okay? No, nothing more, nothing less. Morocco, the foreign exchange office of Morocco has, this, has said that transacting in virtual currencies was an infringement on Forex regulations. The decision of banning crypto trading in Morocco came in 2017. It is speculated that the government of Morocco may allow crypto trading under specific conditions in the coming future. That's probably going to you know, I mean, seems to be an ongoing theme here. Nigeria, Nigeria imposed a crypto ban in February, 2021, the largest cryptocurrency market in Africa banned banks and financial institutions providing an off-ramp crypto services since 2017. In addition, the announcement even threatened to close bank accounts using cryptocurrency exchanges. Mm, Y'all better figure something out. Bolivia, Bolivia central bank banned all decentralized cryptocurrencies in 2014. It also made provisions to allow those created by the government. However, this ruling was put in place to protect the national currency and protect investors. At the time, Bolivia was the only country in South America with an outright ban. I'd put up a video from there, but from some news source, but they complained the massive dynamic and massive dynamic made me take the video down. Make that one make sense. But uh, I guess it is what it is. Uh, Ecuador, Ecuador's Ecuador implemented an outright ban on decentralized currencies later in 2014. In a vote in the National Assembly, the government amended the monetary and financial laws to allow for payments using electronic money while prohibiting coins not controlled by the state. Hmm. Okay. Well, 
hey, but it's their country, right? So I ain't nothing I can say. Like I said, I'm just reading. The, I'm just reading the stuff. Cutter. Cutter warned banks against trading in cryptocurrencies in 2018. The government asked the banks to not to not deal with Bitcoin exchange it with another currency, open an account to deal with it or send or receive any money transfers to buy or sell this currency. Those caught were told would face penalties. Well, being I been the cutter, now not to do any business, but I, I wouldn't be screwing around there. Uh, same thing with Toiki. Toiki. Many in Turkey turned to cryptocurrency as the Turkish lira plummeted in value. Boy, it sure did. I was watching that. They, they were in a mass panic. It was in a free fall with some of the highest levels of anywhere globally. The arrival of regulations was swift this year as inflation peaked in April. On 16 April 2021, the central bank of the Republic of Turkey issued a regulation banning the use of cryptocurrencies, including Bitcoin. The following day, the Turkish president Recep Tayyip Erdogan went, sorry about that, went further and issued a decree that crypto exchanges to a list of firms subject to anti-money laundering and terrorism financing rules. And last, Vietnam, the State Bank of Vietnam has declared that the issuance, supply, and use of Bitcoin and other cryptos are illegal as a means of payment and are subject to fines ranging from 150 million Vietnamese doors and to 200 million Vietnamese doors. Well, I mean, uh, hey, it, it it is it is what it is, folks. It is what it is. Rate, comment, share, subscribe. Bye.